Beloved in the Lord Jesus Christ, I greet you and I welcome you to summer school briefing. This week, we are learning lesson 9 of our summer school. And the caption is Jesus, the perfect sacrifice. Wherever you are, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you very much for our lives. Please, Lord, come and give us deep understanding of your word. In Jesus Christ's name, Amen. Beloved, as I said, throughout this week we are learning lesson 9. And it says that Jesus, the perfect sacrifice. Point 1. Why were sacrifice necessary? We are asking ourselves that why was it that sacrifice was necessary at that time? Animal sacrifice had various meanings, forgiveness, gratitude. They were also part of the covenant, an agreement between two parties. Splitting the sacrificed animals in half was an old covenant tradition. The halves were placed on the ground, and the parties involved had to walk between them. This being done, he, Abraham reverently, pass between the parts of the sacrifice, making a solemn vow to God of perpetual obedience. Then, God did the same, thus ratifying the covenant. Shedding of blood was necessary to ratify the new covenant too. In this case, Jesus, God was there. Will you ratify the covenant by walking with Jesus every day? That is the question that I'm asking you today. I'm repeating that will you ratify the covenant by walking with Jesus every day? And yes, indeed, we need to respond and say that yes, we want to walk with Christ Jesus every day. Point two, when were sacrifice necessary? When was it necessary? Several types of sacrifice and offerings were offered in the sanctuary depending on their purpose holocaust offering grain offering peace offering sin offering guilt offering each sacrifice had a different context they covered more than forgiveness but also gratitude consecration point number three what does jesus sacrifice offer the sacrifice of jesus fulfilled all the Old Testament sacrifices, when we read John 1, verse number 29, it has the following unique characteristics. Let's see. It can clean our conscience. It can take away our sins. It offers sanctification. It is effective and unsurpassable. It makes us perfect. It allows us to come near to God. It gives us an example to follow. So these are the things which is unique about Jesus' sacrifice that he offered. Point number four. What is the role of Jesus' sacrifice today? So we are, we are saying to ourselves, or we are asking ourselves that what is the, the role? The actual role in which Christ Jesus sacrifice has for us today. The ministry of early priests did not end when the animal was sacrificed. Similarly, the ministry of Jesus did not end when he died on a cross. Depending on the category of the person's sin, the priest sprinkled the blood on the veil of the most holy place. A priest or the congregation Leviticus 4 verse 1 to 21 says that or at the flesh of the victim Leviticus 6 verse 25 to 26 in both cases the sin was symbolically taken to the tabernacle in the day of the atonement once a year the sanctuary was purified from all the sins that had been confessed during the year since Jesus ascended he is conducting his intercessory ministry in the heavenly sanctuary. He is applying his blood to save 
anyone who asks for forgiveness. In Hebrews 7, verse number 25. In Hebrews 9, verse number 27 to 29, Paul explained that there is a work of judgment taking place between the cross and the second coming. When Jesus comes back, he won't be related to sin at all. Every sinner will have already been judged and every sin will have already been forgiven. This judgment is the second phase of Jesus' ministry in the heavenly sanctuary. It is known as the cleansing of the sanctuary. The purpose of this judgment is to prove that God's forgiveness is fair. When the records are open before the universe, God will show what happened in the heart of believers and how they embraced Jesus as their Savior. Wow, what a wonderful, perfect sacrifice that Jesus Christ has shown to us. May we understand God and His Word. In Jesus Christ's name, Amen.